A piece of digital artwork is on auction with a current price of $3 million. As NFTs become more mainstream, you will need to know what they are, how they work, and how to buy them. NFTs are a lot simpler than they sound, and in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you what an NFT is in plain English. Let's get into the video. So what is an NFT? NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. This basically means that no token is the same. These tokens are often pieces of digital art. Each piece of art has a signature that cannot be replicated. So when you buy a piece of art, that signature is connected to your name on the blockchain, showing that you own the art. At the moment, most of these digital art pieces are bought and sold using the cryptocurrency Ethereum. Now, NFTs have recently been blowing up. Big names such as Gary Vee have been endorsing NFTs as the next big thing. People of influence such as Logan Paul, Lindsay Lohan, and Tyga have been making NFTs and selling them for a significant price. Logan Paul made over $3 million in one day just by selling his digital artwork. That is a lot of money for some pixels. Before I start explaining how NFTs work, I wanna say really quick that I am not a financial advisor and you should do your own research and come to your own conclusions when thinking about buying NFTs. NFTs have value because there is limited supply. For example, the Mona Lisa is valuable because there is only one. If there was a thousand Mona Lisas, then the Mona Lisa would be a lot less valuable. NFTs work the same way. Because each NFT cannot be duplicated, if there is a limited amount of an NFT that some high ticket artist has done, then it will have value because no more can ever be created. There will only be a select few copies of that piece of art. When a person creates an NFT, they can choose how many copies of that will be sold. For example, if somebody sold 500 copies of their digital art, and charged $1,000 a piece, then they would make $500,000 just by selling that NFT. As the buyer of that piece of art, you are trying to find a piece of digital art that will go up in value over time. From the last example, if I bought one of those pieces for $1,000 and then a year later sold it for $2,000, then I made an $1,000 profit. This is the appeal of NFTs. Stop. Have you smashed the like button? I don't think so. Go ahead and smash that like button, please. It would mean a lot. Back to the video. Now don't get me wrong, NFTs do not just have to be digital art. They could also be online domains, um, digital trading cards, etc. They are just assets that could make you money. However, most NFTs are worthless. The majority of the NFTs out there are made by people like you and me. We have no social influence and people don't wanna buy our art. To make NFTs a smart investment, you should be buying from a well-known artist or a person of influence. There are plenty of big artists that have already established themselves within the NFT space, and so you should be looking at their art. For example, an artist named Beeple is already very well established in this space. At the moment, one of his pieces is on auction at Christie's and the current bid is $3 million. 124 people have bid on this NFT and whoever ends up winning that bidding war is going to have a digital asset that will most likely appreciate over the long run. Another potentially profitable NFT would be Logan Paul's NFTs. He's a person of influence and so having his limited digital art could make you money in the future. When buying an NFT, just keep in mind the seller's reputation and look at the price history to see if there's an upward trend in price. Now that you have a basic idea of NFTs, where can you buy one? There are a few marketplaces for these NFTs, but my favorites are OpenSea and Rarible. Both of these are credible platforms with a wide range of NFTs for you to pick and choose from. You will need an Ethereum wallet to buy NFTs because you buy them with Ethereum. My favorite wallet is Gemini, but you can also use others like Coinbase. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video brought you some value and taught you something new about NFTs. If you wanna learn more about crypto, investing, the stock market, then I recommend you follow along with my channel by subscribing because I go over all of that and tons of ways to make and save money. If you have any questions about NFTs, leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you all and have a great day.